Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heal vs. Babyface. Last week, myself, Jane Theory, and Steph brought you Naomi, Season 1, Episode 1, to the delight of millions, well, 40,000 people. <laughs> uh, this week, well, at the end of the episode, I said, hey ladies, do you want to come back and do another episode? And, and let's just say there wasn't an enthusiastic response to that. Uh, I was quite surprised to discover that that Jane has actually returned. I've returned. You have decided to, to brave another episode. <laughs> Steph, not so much. Uh, but but you have. Now, before we go into this episode, mm -hmm. my God, I nearly had an episode watching it. Because you have read the comics. Yeah. Which I have not. <laughs> Nor could you pay me to do so, especially now. <laughs> right. Um. How different is this after two episodes? Oh, this episode diverges quite a bit, actually. Mm. Now I'm I had a confused. feeling you were going to say that. Yeah, I don't know where they're going at all now. That's <laughs> not good news, folks. I mean, the comic didn't exactly set the world alight. However, no. <laughs> uh, Jane Jane does say that the comics are better than the show. I, I Where they're going with this, I got things. I got things. But before we start... Okay. Uh, I also want to show off the uh, the ratings. Yeah. They're not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. So uh, the first episode uh, debuted with a, an absolutely abysmal 0 .0802, which is the lowest rated brand new series on the CW ever. Congratulations. Mm. But the demo was was what was really bad because this is meant to appeal to, well, definitely to the 18 to 49 demo. Yeah. And uh, just put in a point one for this week, the show's down 70,000. The demo, though, it's down 21%. It's down to a point one one now. That's crazy. After two episodes. Uh -huh. Not a good start. No. <laughs> No, not. I mean, you would be kind of looking for something in the region of a point two four to five. Uh. It's dog <laughs> shit. So episode two, we we had a crazy ride on episode one. Yeah, a whole season worth of stuff by the looks of it. Just throw it at you. Yeah, you kind of. Th I kind of thought that the season one finale would have ended with <laughs> "What's the question, Naomi?" Right. Who am I? There you go. That's how you end your first season. Oh my god! You know, and you're discovering during the course of the season who these people are, who she's starting to interact with. Mm -hmm. Can she trust them? What's going on with the dad? Yeah. Is there something up with a friend? You know, all these little mysteries that you could have set up. No. Nope. When I was watching this episode, I was just, I was just thinking to myself, "There's something very familiar about this," and it didn't, it didn't take me long to twig what it was. But I was like, "This is there's something very familiar about this because they are just copying Superman's origin. In essence, they're Basically, just copying yeah. his origin. There's nothing particularly different here, and we could be watching episode one of Smallville, where apart from let's just say Clark starts to manifest his powers as he hits puberty. Right. It's like a Whereas, poor man Superman. Yeah." Yeah, yes. It's like a very badly written, <laughs> low budget Superman. Naomi is set up in the first episode to be the bestest of the best. Bestest ever. Amazing. So smart. So, so great. great. Everyone loves her. Everyone's in love with her. Yeah, and in love with her. Yeah, yeah. Love her and in love with her. Correct. Yes. But she dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like suddenly she's all in to just wanting to believe Mr. Wingman. If you met a strange man, he said, hi, I'm a strange man. Here's my wings. You're an alien. What would your reaction be? I would probably lose it and run away screaming yes, and call exactly. the cops. And yeah, it would be quite a run different it, yeah. reaction. <laughs> the answer I was I was hoping and I got was run away screaming. Because <laughs> that's kind of what I would have done. I would have gone, all right, you're fucking crazy. Yeah. And, uh, and then just pegged it. Especially in this world where apparently superheroes aren't real. Yes, so which we discovered. So familiar. So in this world, we've now discovered there are no superheroes and there are no extraterrestrials. Mm -hmm. So this could be this could be Earth Prime. So just showing off your wings to a 16-year-old girl 
who hasn't put any of the pieces together until you pushed her. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow it makes sense. Okay, whatever you say. Somehow. Somehow. So she sticks around in the uh, in the shop with him. Let's just be honest. I mean, the guy comes across as a little bit grapey. He's weird, and he's mm. weird. He is weird in the comic too. Uh, those two things align, but it's this thing where they're trying to create this contrast between him being big and sort of monstrous in a way, but also mm -hmm. sensitive, and he has anxiety and all of that. It's just very weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so 20... breathing exercises it's so modern it's so current day isn't it yeah i'm yeah. a big burly difficult to understand alien man but i have anxiety <laughs> come relate to me people i has the anxiety oh get a fucking grip man yeah man up you didn't have anxiety when you threw yourself off the bridge did you dipshit i can tell you i can't tell you you're ready you're not ready it's, it's just this was a for me a filler episode it was just a lot of repetition a lot of back and forth and but i am a superhero i'm not a superhero i have powers i don't hey babe 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 look never raised my hands to a woman in my life it's a lot of decades by the way that friend of hers she she gonna get it she is 16 going on 58 that's a good way to her and her boyfriend, they've been married for 50 years. <laughs> you know, and they're ready to... They've already retired. She's got a carriage clock from work that's now on the mantelpiece in the front room. And now she's decided that she's going to dress up as a school child and hang around <laughs> with Naomi and, and call her babe all day. It's so ridiculous. Not as half as ridiculous as Naomi's reaction after she, uh, she went home and slept on it and then she's having brekkie with her parents and then it, it's just like is there anything special about me right aren't you worried that when you adopted me you knew nothing about me they've had this conversation before though they mentioned that so you're not getting any new information by talking to them i don't want to be cruel but the acting is so fucking bad in this show it, it is bad that I can't get any emotional, legit emotional signals from these people. Okay, what is curious to me is what they're doing with the father. Yes, particularly him. He comes across as a robot. Yes, exactly. He just, just like a ro an unemotional, I am programmed to respond with kindness to daughter. <laughs> I, it's just, I get nothing from you, dude. Even he's alone and he's supposed to be <laughs> contemplating something to himself there's no emotion on his face <laughs> and even when he was like with his his, his superior in mm -hmm. in uh the army base and i'm thinking okay i mean i was a bit surprised that they were having a meeting in a 1950s <laughs> living room is that what all army bases look like inside Maybe. i was like oh my god they have no budget for the show no literally none people are bringing in their own <laughs> props but yeah they were just having this weird conversation at the table dad's just being android man can't get a thing off him naomi's doing her uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. mother's i don't know making smoothies all the time yeah that's what she's known for apparently <sighs> that was the thing this week folks <laughs> hmm we're thinking about spacecraft landing somewhere Hmm, if we could only put our finger on it. Hey, you want smoothies, kids? Smoothies. I brought smoothies. Is she drugging them? Is she, <laughs> is she drugging me? Yeah. <laughs> Am I the what one who's it? been drugged into watching this? <laughs> so she goes to school and she does what she did in the first episode. She drops mm -hmm. the skateboard on the road and starts sliding down. And then she goes down the high street and kind of has the normal interactions that she has. And I thought, maybe I'm just thinking way too hard here, but I thought this time around she's going to go through the village and she's going to start seeing different things. Things are going to be slightly different to her. Yeah. Like the person like waves and smiles is always waving and smiling in exactly the same way. That Why is that person always there? Why is that dog in the exact same place? You know, yeah. I thought things like that were going to happen because mystery. Yeah. See, you're thinking of a better script. <laughs> that's the problem 
You're thinking of a script which hasn't been written. This is a different story. A yeah, better one in your head. <laughs> the only the thing that surprised me the most was nobody was applauding her on the sidewalk. No, they were just, hey. There's Naomi. <laughs> oh my God, she's amazing. Gets to school. <laughs> She goes through the school day. It's all sped up because she's like wanting the day to end so she can go visit Grapey Man on the bridge. Which I don't um, even understand. When did they agree to meet on the bridge? They didn't. I, I know. I didn't hear that. I was just like, what? <laughs> when did they agree to do that? I thought she was going to go to... And he's just like, ha, ah, you came. But before, but before that... <laughs> You're going to have to say, I'm not an American, okay? Mm-hmm. I don't, so I don't know how an American high school works. I know yeah. how grammar schools and comprehensive schools in the UK work. And I have never seen anyone walk up to a, a student who, by the lockers, carrying <laughs> a freshly bought coffee from Starbucks. Where's the fucking Starbucks in the school? This is not happening. And also, this was midday. This was not in the morning. This is like three o'clock in the afternoon or something. Yeah. The, do, you know, I, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? <laughs> what is I'm being this? honest. I'm being honest here. This is an adult writing this going, oh, yeah, I'd be right, right now. I'd be, def- I'd be gagging for a coffee. <laughs> exactly. You know, these are kids. You're not gagging for a coffee at no, 16. You're not. <laughs> it's not even healthy. No, I can see a Coke, maybe. Yeah, yeah, something a Coke, a, a water, yeah, a, a fruit drink, something. <laughs> can... <laughs> but, but, like, but, but I'm just thinking, where's the coffee shop? Where is the coffee in shop? The hey, high school, apparently. A... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they're in the high school, or they've got a fucking Tweaks across the road. We're gonna get these kids fucking addicted to caffeine. <laughs> Oh, here they come now. Here you can have a, uh, a latte, two pump espresso, please. So weird. He asked, no, this is the uh, the guy I'm, I'm absolutely convinced should be gay, but isn't, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he asked Naomi if uh, they want to go for uh, pizza on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I thought Naomi was meant to be smart. <laughs> no. He's quite clearly asking her out on a date. Yeah. And she just is like, oh, yeah, pe- oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm all for pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for the coffee. I I hate that they make her so ignorant of other people's feelings. I mean, if you're going to do this love quadrangle situation here with all these people, like, they should be upset that she's either ignoring their feelings or using them. Yet, well, one they, person they, is the ex boyfriend, yeah. But, I, but I'm even, not sure if you're aware, Jane, but the whole world revolves around Naomi, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, she's the center of the universe to everyone and herself, <laughs> she is her own center of the universe. So, why would she bother about other people's feelings when it's all about her? It just makes her so unlikable. I know <laughs> it's just like I would this. This is the kind of friend, well, I say friend, yeah. that uh, that you're at school, that you never told a thing to. Mm-hmm. Never told a thing to, and you were just polite, and then as soon as you turned 18 and left school, you never spoke to them again. Right. Because they were just superficial. Exactly. Uh, meanwhile, you're telling, you know, you, you and another friend have, have properly bonded, and you, you know, you're right, yeah, I've had a rough day. Oh. She's just like, oh, hi, my world's <laughs> great. We got to do this thing that I want to do. You got to stop everything that you're doing, okay? I'm going to exactly. get mad if you want to do your homework. Because she does. I mean, she does like she, she does. gets mad. Yeah. All of her friends don't get to do their homework. So she goes and meets uh, Gravy McWeirdo on the on the on this bridge. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere that <laughs> was never set up at any point that I can recall. Alone. Alone. And then he tells her to jump off the bridge. <laughs> Near me, jump off the bridge. You fucking, <laughs> you you crazy? And he's like surprised that Naomi doesn't want to throw herself off a bridge. At least she says something relatively, well, logical, which is like, oh, you, you know, those wings could have been a trick. They could have been yeah. this, that, and the other. This is this is all weird and wrong. I mean, the fact that you're there is fucking weird and wrong. So she's just like, no, 
Uh, I ain't doing this. So he throws himself off the bridge. Now, I don't know how people's eyesight work in this universe. <laughs> But when somebody throws themselves off a bridge and you are facing in the direction that they threw themselves off the bridge yes. and you go to the edge of the bridge and look down mm -hmm. and then suddenly they're above you. I don't know how that how you'd not see that happening because it's all in front of you. Yeah, but it does. And he's there on his wings going, I have wings, but I can actually teleport, which is much more convenient. But then why jump? Why not just float up? Well, I think he did float up. I think she just, you know, maybe it's that eyesight thing. She didn't put her glasses on that day. <laughs> the glasses that make her see worse. But the thing is, too, we've already seen this. Like, she knows he has wings. So what is this supposed to prove? I think it was supposed to prove that what you saw last night was real and it wasn't a trick and it's not an illusion and you're not ready, Naomi. <laughs> That could have been such a better way to do that. Maybe even not even do that yet. <laughs> I, I'm thinking that's the whole script right now for the first two episodes. I think there's a, there was a much better way to do all of this from start to finish. Then we get my my greatest part of the episode. 80-year-old girl speaks to mum about smoothies. Oh, my God. Uh, meanwhile... In the front room, it's intense because Naomi is now trying to uh, piece to Oh, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I get that they want to have a mystery about mm -hmm. the UFO. That's fine. Yeah. That's, that's good. You know? What I think is a bit fucking retarded is when the person that you are trying to put your trust in i.e mr grapey mcweedy wings is the one that tells them that the ufo landed at a specific place when it didn't yeah this is this adds another level of weirdness because he was there he was there he was there. And he's supposed to be communicating the truth. Yes. So why lead her somewhere else? Because the writers are stupid. <laughs> they don't remember. That's right. They don't we, they don't know how to link things together. Because they were like, oh no, we need her to talk to the guy mm -hmm. who says, no, it wasn't there that it landed. It was 10 miles uh, further away near to a mill yeah but they forgot about that guy so yeah. the other guy just had to give him duff information <laughs> kind of forgot <sighs> danny <laughs> kind of forgot about the iron fleet so yeah. you're not you're not exactly setting up your inverted commas good dude as a, right. as, as as anyone credible because he's, he's got anxiety issues <laughs> and uh he doesn't know what a fuck you were 20 years ago <laughs> 16 years ago so they're, they're trying to trying to <laughs> work out where the ufo would have landed near the town uh while a very strange looking girl is uh calling a babe yeah and uh she's running around like a conspiracy theorist uh they can't get the mum the car her mum lent her the car but they can't get that anymore because dad needs it now or right. something they have to get the scooby mobile yes they have to get the is. shitty mobile to turn up <laughs> and the shitty mobile is being driven by the uh 76 year old teenager <laughs> Hello, darling. How was your day at school? Did you call a baby, Nav? Yes, I did. Did you go to the grocery store and get those eggs I wanted? Did you want eggs? Oh, I can't remember that. I can't remember you saying that you wanted eggs. So we have the, the 1950s office in the uh, naval base. Yes. Uh, where I think they have a slither of Superman's cape. Mm -hmm. That they are... Uh, looking and they say hey we cannot identify this material now, wouldn't this be classified information yes <laughs> but fuck it <laughs> you don't need to sign any ndas you don't no. need to go through any screening procedures uh, you don't need to go under to some vault somewhere. Just go to a 1950s fucking front room and have a look at some Superman cloaks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they can't. They don't. They can't get the material. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I gotta share this. I gotta share this. Hold on. I gotta share this because this, this right here, is that's all we get from him. 
<laughs> yeah. That's that all we get it. from him in the entire show, to be fair. That, that is it. Every scene. <laughs> just what? Huh? Hello? Uh? Is there anybody there? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I can see it in your smile. No. So that's what we get from him. So uh, apparently, um, I don't know if it's later or now, but they're, they're like, uh, oh no, I think they're just sending him away to do some investigation with it or something. I don't know. Yeah, so they, the need, end of... they recruit him to get answers. I'm like, what? what? Yeah, I was going to say, but it's not then that they recruit him. They sort of like send him away to, to, to you know, see if he can identify it. Yeah, but wh- why? I don't know, because he's taking <laughs> a fucking piece of alien technology potentially <laughs> with him. And everyone seems fine with it makes no sense but let's look i mean jane <laughs> i i am being as nice as i can <laughs> as nice as i can i am not saying a thing <gasps> babe 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 so they go to the where they think is the crash site the best friend immediately goes and starts licking trees <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> let's just lick. Tr- <laughs> let's just go lick trees. Ugh. So she's licking trees. Yeah, I think her boyfriend's brought a picnic, and then we have this really. I mean, it, it, it was. I thought they were setting up okay when Naomi starts to hear things. She can mm-hmm. hear the rustle. She can hear insects walking. She can hear a fish jumping up and down in in a in a lake. Yeah. And then she can hear her friends talking and she thinks they're right next to them because she can hear them clearly. So she turns and they're not there. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fine. And then she just continues to hear a friend who then just starts saying, near me, near me, near me, babe, <laughs> near me, babe, near me. And then she's right next to her. And she's right. like, what's wrong? She's like, I could hear. And she's like, what? And she's like, everything. <laughs> and I, no, you, you heard a fish? some insects and your friend shouting Naomi. And I was thinking, there's another show on the CW. It's called Superman and Lois. Yeah. And when the second son, the one with the powers, started mm-hmm. to to hear things, tried to concentrate to hear things, they literally had a montage of sounds. Yes. Not just a fish and insects. And he was trying hard to focus. Naomi was just, I heard a couple of things, just like, I heard that. I heard the world. That's the that and that scene annoyed me because it's been done so much better in that show. But you also have Interview the Vampire, Twilight even did it better. I don't understand what why they thought her being able to see or hear a few things here and there would convey to us the extent of her powers manifested. Like that's it's not enough. It just seems silly. Well, I just thought and contrived. Stop ripping off Superman, you dumb bitch. Well, there's that too. But it's just so, it could have been done so much better. Was it We've Bendis it that created Naomi? Uh, yes. Explains everything. Yeah. Explains everything. Okay. They go back home. Boyfriend, ex-boyfriend turns up. Who has a really weird voice? I thought he was just like <laughs> speaking really like quietly because he's like trying to woo Naomi last week, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that's actually his voice. That's his when everyday he was speaking, voice. Yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> you went with that, did you? Okay. Would you like a soda? Would you like a soda? I'd like a <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> Can I have one of your mother's? Her best friend just had one of her mum's smoothies. And ex-boyfriend looked really jealous. Yeah. She was like... <laughs> like she has the best smoothies. Well, no, I did, like, is he jealous of the smoothie? Which would be weird <laughs> or is he jealous that you your best friend got something and he thinks that you want to bang her now he did say you have all of these people here i'm like he didn't like unusual? people being there did he no they go and find the guy yeah. 16 years ago saw the ufo and he <laughs> <laughs> he was so weird it was just like okay look when you're setting somebody up that hasn't spoken about the incident in 16 years. Yes. They were so shell-shocked, traumatized, whatever. Something Mm -hmm. happened that they refused to talk about it for 16 years. Mm -hmm. And then just a bunch of fucking Scooby gang come along to their house. And they're just like, go on, tell us. And he's like, all right. Yeah. (laughs) 
here's everything I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was easy. You are not giving us anything to work <laughs> with here, show. You're not giving us any suspense. You're not setting up any mysteries because you keep fucking solving them in the next <laughs> scene or the same scene. Yeah. So, yeah, he just tells them everything. He's just like, ah, oh, no, they don't. Uh, it didn't land at uh, you know, Great Lake. Uh, no, <laughs> it, it landed six, six miles near a mine somewhere. Oh, so you're looking in the wrong place. Yeah. So your, your, your mentor is a complete lunatic and wrong so they're like "Ooh, okay new mystery we gotta we gotta go looking for this mill so they discover a mill on the map i'm okay with that a little bit yeah you know well they were looking them. on the wrong map first and she found the correct map. yeah yeah but that's just it the same <laughs> scene yeah it's not as if it's just like we've been looking in the wrong place you know after like an episode because somebody yeah. reveals oh no this is this is the cooper's map Right. This is the Cooper's map from 20 years ago, and I found it in Dave's library down the street. And this has this on it. Yes. Oh, we didn't. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, I got another map. <laughs> it was right there under this one. Right there, right there. <laughs> Same place. <laughs> right here. Just right in front of us all along. You know you're looking for a mill. So just why yes. haven't you mapped all of the mills off if you have them all on one map? And why are there so many mills in this town? Yes. <laughs> it's a small town. That's top. probably the better question. Why are there so many mills that this alien spaceship was thinking, ooh, what mill should I land at? <laughs> Spoilt for choice, me. So they end up uh, heading to uh, the mill. Mm -hmm. uh, as as a group, uh, <laughs> what I fucking loved is that the uh, the crap mobile breaks down. It does, and so they have to call Purple Head Lesbian <laughs> to flirt with the. Hey, thanks for coming. Oh, I'll answer anytime you call Naomi. And this is an adult, right? This is well. I mean, that's she's over not a high school student. No. Know me 16. Yes. This is a grown woman. <laughs> it's not appropriate. And Naomi was flirting with her in the first episode. She's she was. Like, Here's my phone number. Even if you just want to call about anything. It's so cringe. So we don't have purple headed warrior in this in this scene, but um we got we got uh on the far left. Oh my god. A 76-year-old teenage <laughs> boy. We've got I don't know what that is, but it is that we got 80-year-old married babe woman next to her <laughs> who Naomi may or may not have an interest in. We've got the got blonde-haired boy-ish who's into Naomi. Yeah. And Naomi is kind of like, yeah, I'm I'm kind of into I'm sort of into you. Yeah. Even though I even though I clearly flirted and gave my details for somebody to call me last week. Yes. Which kind of makes you trash. I'm so glad you you <laughs> said that word because I had another one that I didn't want to use. <laughs> trash is good. It kind of makes you a bit trashy. Yeah. And then we got boyfriend who's ditched after five weeks who doesn't know why they split up. Neither do we. No. Who she's still kind of like, uh, can this girl make up her mind? No. And look at her. Look at her. look at that smug face. This is her the... with all of her lovers yeah. would be. Yes. <laughs> this is literally her entourage. Her hair. And they're waiting for the purple hair girl to turn up to <laughs> answer this. Who's just pulling into frame. You just see the car pulling into frame. Who's too old for Naomi. Yes. Jesus Christ, CW. So they go to the mill. Mm -hmm. They discover the Kryptonian <laughs> language. <laughs> Because this is just a rip-off of Superman. That's exactly what it is. So they just discover a bunch of language on a wall. And then uh, <laughs> the weirdo guy from, from the alleyway yeah. decides to, to make an appearance. I know you're in here, Naomi. I know you're in here with your friends. And then, like, we got to run. And I'm thinking, why? It's a disused mill. Why? Yeah. Why you got to run? Somebody say, hey, you're trespassing on private property. Mm -hmm. But that's not his property. They know that. 
The, exactly. So screw you, bitch. <laughs> we go <laughs> back to the Kryptonian you. writing. Yeah, yeah. I'll say you touch me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they could actually throw. Yeah, yeah. I'll go to the police and say you fucking touched me. <laughs> you don't get the fuck out of here. He'll be out of there like a flash. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> So he said, so he's like acting as a bad guy, but he's clearly not a bad guy. He's clearly more responsible than the guy with the. Well, I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's trying to protect Naomi and maybe try to allow her to live that normal life that she talks about that she but wants. He's so creepy, though. Hey, hey, Jane. Mm -hmm. You know when Naomi and Babe were talking to each other <laughs> earlier in the episode? And Naomi literally referenced herself as a god. Yes! Oh my god, that was so weird. <laughs> so you've gone from, okay, I'm an alien. Mm -hmm. I can manifest some powers. I must be a god! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That escalated. That is, yeah, that escalated quickly <laughs> there, that little ego of yours, young lady. Ai Chihuahua. And it reveals how she thinks of herself. Yes, quite a lot. Yeah. Quite a lot. So yeah, I don't think he's I don't think he's a bad guy. Then husband, husband goes home and he's just like, ah, I'm trying to find out what Superman's cape's doing here. <laughs> okay. Naomi goes back to Wingman and is ready to to learn now. In the same episode. In the same episode. Because <laughs> this doesn't let anything sit <laughs> whatsoever. Oh dude. <laughs> When the dad goes back to the 1950s <laughs> office in the in the army barracks, and he's like, "No, I, I couldn't, I couldn't discover anything." And they're just like, "Welcome to the team." Yeah, here's a credit card. <laughs> I think it's meant to be a security card, but it's clearly a credit card <laughs> that somebody's put a sticker over. Look, look, look! I am not bullshitting you. <laughs> I am. I shit you not. It's a credit card with a sticker it over is. it. They couldn't even line up the chip properly. <laughs> <laughs> they've, printed, they've literally printed that off and stuck it on a credit card. Some reward card, probably the Costa, the, the <laughs> Starbucks reward card from the showrunner. This is your budget. I laughed. I laughed a lot <laughs> and they're just like welcome to the team you're going to be hunting your own daughter in a few weeks oh, god. oh my god and then naomi jumps oh wait hold on well hold on <laughs> first of all mysterious i hide in dark alleyways and jump out at school children man yeah uh, he makes the language vanish why couldn't he have done that 16 years ago uh you are asking two good questions here jane <laughs> Why is the fucking mill still there? Here's another one. There's that. Why didn't it burn down in a mysterious accident or something? Uh -huh. Why would you leave it there for people to even contemplate going to? And then Naomi... Right, this is so fucking dumb. You know we talked earlier about when you're looking in a direction? Mm -hmm. Yes. Naomi runs and jumps off the bridge. <laughs> He's looking in the same direction. Mm -hmm. He gets to the end of the bridge. He looks down and he smiles and says, no splash. Right. Where the fuck is she? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no excuse with him because apparently he can also vanish. So you would have seen her. <sighs> you would know where she went. And, and that's that was episode two. That was it. What would you rate episode two? Oh, my God. It's, go it's getting worse. So I, I would. I gave it the last episode a two. You got a two out of five last week. So we're at a 1.5. 1. 1.5 <laughs> out of five. I gave it a two last week out of 10, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, so it's a one out of five. I I would give this a. Uh, 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 <laughs> can I go minus? No. Uh, I would give this a, 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 a two out of five. No, I'm kidding. One and a half. <laughs> I... No, one, one and a half. One and a half is good. Three out of ten. Three out of ten, I think, is generous. That 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 is because I I did initially sort of have the feeling that this episode was better than the last one, but it's like the more you think about it, 
Oh, it's not good, the is it? The more you discuss it, the more things you you see that just no. This it's is why you should worse, never talk worse. to more if you like a TV show, right? Because because he'll just like he'll just analyze the shit of it by the end of it. It's like, why are you kidding? Why are you kidding? <laughs> Um, you know, one thing you did mention though, mm. one thing they brought up and I caught this, they told us she was black. Oh, when? in case you did not know, she was not... having a conversation with one of her students talking about with one of her classmates talking about how different she is. And she mentioned that she was the only black girl in her schools that she had been to as she was moving from place to place with her family. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. I mean, you've literally, this show is literally like a shotgun of diversity. <laughs> We've got something for everyone on the, on the, well, I mean, the only, one of the things that I'm kind of crediting the show with is it doesn't bring race into it. They did. This but episode. It, did. it absolutely did. Maybe I was too busy laughing from the previous <laughs> scene. Maybe Probably. I didn't care. I was bagging up my one in six um, accessories <laughs> while watching. So, you know. You there could have been a part. slip or two in concentration along the way. This show is really badly written, and it's and it's pretty badly acted for the most part. And there is no excitement. There is no mystery. No. I am still struggling to say what the actual plot is so far. I'm really less sure even than I was before because they keep telling everything. Yes. So what is left? at this point i don't know where they're gonna go with the 13 episodes 13 that's what it said okay so it got a half season order for the second half of the year okay got it oh she says to uh when she went back to wingy mcweirdo uh, she <laughs> said hey can i meet superman because superman's actually real now yeah can i meet superman he was like maybe and i'm thinking wait a minute when you mentioned superman earlier you said i fought alongside superman once a long long time ago and when yeah. he said a long, long time ago, I thought he was literally like hundreds of years ago. Mm -hmm. So Superman time is completely different here compared to somewhere else. He might pop in for smoothies. I mean, it's going to take a dark turn if they have her dad hunting her down, I guess. Maybe. I don't know, because her dad hasn't shown anything that makes him look sinister. And even if they made him sinister, I don't know if this actor's got the chops to, to carry that off. Hasn't shown it so far. He's a good robot. Yeah. Is oh, he real? Man. Is he human? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if any of them are right now. I don't even. I don't know if that blue haired weirdo, purple haired weirdo, is fucking real. I know she's so weird. I don't know. Even a mom, I'm just like, are yeah. they all robots? I don't know what's going on. It's really odd. If they keep pointing out the food, I, I, I feel like there's something in it. Maybe I don't know. Are you brave enough to attempt to come back next week? Oh gosh, I think I have to. <laughs> I'm in so far. It's so funny uh, hearing myself reflected back uh, from someone. This is this is me whenever I talk to myself about reviewing Batwoman. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. Yeah, I guess I got to. You know, <laughs> I don't know how you do that though. I can't. I'm just glad that Naomi doesn't get me mad. It's stupid. It's terribly written. Yeah, but it but it's almost comical in a way. Right. It's kind of like comically written because it's it's written so badly in as much as I feel like I'm watching a really bad kids TV show. Yeah, it has a Nickelodeon feel. This should come straight after Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing complex here at all. Great, Jane. Have you got anything you'd like to plug, my dear? I let's see. I did just drop my review of the latest Boba fet episode so mm. definitely check that out i'm struggling through it the link to jane's channel is in the description box down below so please uh click on that drop her a subscription uh yeah. listen to her videos uh because if you like what you heard here you're gonna like what you hear over there you know what i'm saying <laughs> and as for me please like comment and subscribe oh this is my oh this is my old outro Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch for live streaming, which I don't <laughs> do anymore because I do it on YouTube, and I'm not on Facebook. Um, and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now. Bye.